Hey guys, it's Chelsea from the Friendly Band Sunshine Loom, and today we're going to be making the Estonia Hepta Band. Today we're celebrating all our friends in Estonia for their Independence Day, so we're here to make a bracelet for them. So to start today, I'm going to be using the colors of the Estonia flag, which are blue, black, and white. So to start this bracelet, I'm going to do a blue band all the way around for this outer portion here. So we're going to do 23 blue all the way around the inner circle. So now that I'm done with this first row, I'm going to head back over to the start side here and I'm going to alternate between blue and white rows with black lettering. So I'm going to start with three white rubber bands. So that's one, two, and three, followed by one black, or two, followed by three black three, followed by one white, followed by three black, so that's one, two, and three, followed by two white, one, two, followed by two black, one, and two, followed by one white, followed by three black, so that's one, two, and three, followed by one white, followed by one black. And then I'm going to finish off this row with three white. So one, two, and three. And then I'm going to head back over to the start side. I'm going to start with three blue rubber bands. So that's one, two, and three followed by one black, followed by three blue, so that's one, two, and three, followed by one black, followed by three blue, so one, two, and three, followed by one black, followed by five blue, so that's one, oh, four blue, sorry, two, three, and four, followed by one black, followed by two blue, followed by one black, and finished off with three blue. So that's one, two, and three. And now that we're done with the three rows, we're going to move the rubber band from 23 to 47, as well as from 70 to 47. Then I'm going to take a single blue rubber band, do a double loop by pulling, twisting, and looping over to create an end cap, just like that. And now we're ready to lay down our crossbars. So today I'm going to do blue crossbars, and since this is a three-part project, we're going to have to connect three sections together. So I'm going to do two crossbars. So I'm going to skip the first four pegs here, put a single rubber band on peg number two, and then pull across all three pegs to create an upwards triangle just like that. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around by simply placing first placing down a single rubber band, then on top of it, pulling across and over just like that. And we're going to do this all the way around until we reach our end.
All right, I'm going to skip the four, four last pegs here. And I'm actually ready to hook my pattern in place. I'm going to head over to the hook side here, grab my FB hook. I'm going to go in the double loop here, pull back, and bring this rubber band forward. And now you just need to remember to always push back your crossbars before hooking that single rubber band forward. Do this all the way around until you reach your end. I'm ready to head back over to the hook side here and do my outer circle. Again, pushing back this double loop here and hooking forward the single rubber band. Alright, now I'm ready to go back to the hook side and do my middle circle here. This one it gets kind of loose, so make sure you hold it in place and push back the blue crossbar before hooking this white one forward. Otherwise it might get loose. Just be sure to push back all these blue crossbars before hooking forward to ensure that your pattern locks into place. Now that we're done hooking forward all three rows, we can grab a single blue rubber band, put our hook inside all the rubber bands on peg number 24, pull it through by twisting and looping through, and then you can simply grab an FB link and slide it on just like that. And now we're ready to remove part one of our three-part hepta band. Here's what part one should look like. You can simply pull out your crossbars here so that it's ready for the next step and then just simply put it to the side. And now we're ready for part two. So for part two we're going to head back over to the start side here and both part two and three only use the inner and middle rows. So we're going to start with white, three white rubber bands. So that's one, two, and three, followed by two black, so that's one, two, two white, one, two, two black, so one, two, three white, one, two, and three, one black, three white, so that's one, two, and three, followed by one black, two white, so one and two, one black, and then I'm going to finish off the row with three white rubber bands, so that's one, two, and three. I'm ready to head back over to the start side here. So on the middle row here, I'm going to start with three blue rubber bands. So that's one, 
two and three followed by one black, followed by three blues, so that's one, two, and three, followed by one black, followed by five blue, so that's one, two, three, four, and five, followed by one black, two blue, one and two, one black, two blue, one black, and then finish off with three blue, two and three. Now that we're done with this row, we're going to move the rubber band from peg number 70 to peg number 47. Grab a single blue rubber band, pull, twist, and loop over to create a double loop at the end. And now we're ready to grab our part one. And on this part, we're going to want to use, make sure that your FB link is on the same side as the start side and that your crossbars face outwards towards the bracelet. You're going to want to grab both crossbars on this step to go across both of these two pegs. Skip the first three here. Grab your both, grab both crossbars, bring them across both of these pegs, and you're going to do this all the way around. And when you stretch it, the second crossbar tends to pop out more, so you can easily see it. So just simply pull both crossbars across both pegs. Alright, now we're done. We skip these last three pegs here. You can pull your double loop up to this peg here. Just to kind of keep it out of the way. Now you're ready to head over to the hook side. Grab your FB hook. Go inside your double loop here and pull this white rubber band forward to your inner circle. And simply hook forward all your single rubber bands, pushing back your crossbars as you go along. You can kind of hold this down as well if it's in your way. You're done hooking for it this inner circle head back over to your hook side and do the middle circle same concept of pushing back the double loop here and hooking forward your single rubber bands making sure to always push back your crossbars both crossbars before hooking forward So now here we are, ready to grab our single blue rubber band and again put our hook in all of the rubber bands on peg number 24. Pull, twist, and loop it through. And then you can simply slide on an FB link, just like that. And then you're ready to remove part two. This is what it should look like after part two. And you simply, this time we're only going to be using one crossbar, so just pull out that one crossbar that's sticking out a little bit in preparation for step three. And then put it to the side. 
So now we're ready to lay down part three of our bracelet. For this one, we're going to start off with three, right, three white rubber bands. So that's one, two, and three. Three black. So that's one, two, and three. One white. Three black. So that's one, two, and three. One white, two black, three white, so that's one, two, and three. One black, two white, one, two, one black, and then finish off the row with three white rubber bands. Now for the last row, we're going to head back over to the start side over here. And this row is entirely blue. So we're going to do 23 blue rubber bands all the way around. And this will be our final row. To finish off this row, we're going to bring the rubber band from peg number 70 over to 47, pull, twist, and loop over a single blue rubber band to create a double loop there. And now we're ready to grab our first two parts of our project. Make sure your FB link is on the start side here and your crossbars are facing outwards towards the loom. This time we only have one crossbar, so again we're going to skip these first three here. We're going to put the single crossbar across the two pegs, just like that, all the way around. And then just grab your double loop just to kind of keep it out of the way there. Now you're ready to head back over to the hook side here. Grab your FB hook. Go into the double loop just like before. Hook forward this white rubber band to the inner circle. Then you simply hook forward your single rubber bands, pushing back your crossbars as you go along. And then head back over to the hook side over here. Do the same thing, making sure to push back your double loop here. Look for the blue rubber band forward. And continue to make sure you push back your crossbars before hooking forward your single rubber band to make sure it locks in place. So for the last time, we're going to hook our, put our hook inside all the rubber bands on page number 24, grab a single blue rubber band, pull, twist, and loop through just like that. Grab an FB link, slide it on, and now we're ready to remove our final step of our bracelet. If you guys have any requests, be sure to leave them in the comments section. We also do request pretty regularly mixed in with our other tutorials. And also be sure to like us on Facebook because we've got a lot of fun things going on there along with contests and different project ideas. And there you have it. This is the Estonia bracelet to all our Estonia friends. And this is the Estonia Happy Independence Day Heptaband. Bye guys. See you later.